Hey you! Finally we made it. We made it before dark. This is Peaceful Bay campsite. So what we're going to do tonight, uh, we make some pasta or I don't no know, pasta. noodles. What, 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 what are we going to make? Rice? There. Instant rice. Oh, instant rice. So we are, we're going to, oh, so there is something called instant rice. Okay. So we're going to make some, some rice, uh, maybe some canned food, something like that. Very simple. And we are going to rest a little bit early tonight. So in the morning, we wake up early and have some explore around the, the, uh, the peaceful bay area. Stay tuned. Unfortunately, we had to set up the campsite at dark. Um, I was setting up the tent and it was quite easy to set up. It was, it took me less than 10 minutes. In the same time, my wife, uh, started cooking, uh, took out all the camp, uh, the, uh, the cooking gears and, and started cooking. Uh, <clears throat> it was good. It was such a restful night. It was nice and quiet and it was nice and calm too. It was such restful. <laughs> Good morning, 4x4 Adventure Western Australia, Asian four-wheeler exploring the beautiful WA coast. Mate, another solo adventure. Sometimes you've got to get out there by yourself. This time I'm not only here for an adventure, uh, I am also, well for those of you who, uh, who follow my page, uh, you may notice I've got a new throttle controller system. So what is a new throttle controller? Uh, apparently it controls the throttle, so it can uh, sharpen or dampen the throttle response. So guys, uh, this is my throttle, throttle controller. Uh, in my case, this is called iDrive. Uh, I'm not associated with iDrive, but I'll show you what it does. It has got uh, different settings. Automate mode at the moment is U5, is middle automate, uh, is uh, at automatic, uh, it is off, and it is economical mode. Now I'll show you what it does. So basically, I'll go back to off, you know, I'll put my steady throttle, something like that, and then if I go to uh, this is economical mode, it is zero. But I'll turn it to around E5, I guess. Now this is what it does. And I haven't changed my throttle, all right? E5. And if I change it to, uh, the next one is automate. So that's how, that's the automate mode. Apparently automate mode is suitable for highway driving uh, because it gives you an extra grunt, something like that. Uh, but in off-road, automate mode is not ideal. Uh, and the reason is it get the, uh, the throttle is too sharp and it tends to spin the wheels and you lose traction. Is this really the case? I, I'm actually a little bit, uh, I, I'm not convinced about it because sometimes you do need a bit of extra grunt, you do need a bit of wheel spin, things like that. Now, with the economical mode, it, uh, it dampens the throttle response. So uh, originally when it is like, now it becomes, things like that. Um, so it slows down the wheel spin, uh, or sorry, it decreases the likelihood of wheel spin uh, and it grabs the ground a little bit better off-road. But is this really the case? I am going to test it out, varying uh, the various different modes. Guys, if you like what I do here, please subscribe my channel. And also, you can also find me on, uh, on Facebook and Instagram at 4x4Adventure WA. I'll see you there. Now, I've got to go exploring. After having breakfast, to be honest with you, we were unwilling to pack up. What a lovely little spot. To give you a bit of idea, 
I've completed two photo mounts when I take off. Turns out it didn't make much of a difference as long as you can control the photo. In this particular rock step, I've decided to use E5. And E5 in this case had given me such a good superior control, he has made the whole driving experience a lot smoother and a lot safer as well. Finally, I've decided to use E7 uh, because I've, I found E7 provides enough dampening throttle uh, for sand tracks. Uh, sand, especially good for these bumpy, annoying tracks. Sometimes when a track becomes popular and people use it again and again, uh, eventually these kind of holes, uh, bumpy formation will be created. And the Economical 7 provide just enough dampening power to smoothen the ride. I'm going to show you what I found with the Ultimate Mode in Soft Sand. I guess the question is, is ultimate mode useless in off-road driving? I guess in short my answer is no. And the reason is ultimate mode sometimes allows you to spin through some obstacles. And obviously that is when it is safe to do so. I kind of like taking off the car using an economical mode so it makes the acceleration a little bit smoother. And when I really need a grunt, I'll change the ultimate mode straight away and throttle will do the rest. So, all in all, uh, I think whenever you really need a speed, 
uh, you want it to go fast, go for ultimate mode. If you want the car to go slow and smooth, go for the economical. I've also tried a couple of times uh, of this thing here using economical mode 7. I've even hit it with more momentum, but it just doesn't quite make it. Guess what? Although ultimate mode can get you out of trouble, it can also get you into trouble. If you spin your wheels too quickly, it certainly get you bogged in soft sand. Tell you what, I spun the wheels and it quickly got me to just the deep. When the wheels are not really breaking through the resistance, uh, it just stick deeper and deeper. Cruising through, um, we're cruising through Peaceful Bay, Big Beach. It's like Chang's Beach. The, the, the sand is very firm. Um, I think it's a good time to make a conclusion about the I drive. Uh, economical mode is good for starting because when you when you when you start from zero k's, you really want to have you really want to minimize your wheel spin. But then, economical mode also limits your grunt. So when you really want to climb a, a steep hill with soft stuff, uh, you really want to have that grunt, the high rev, but the economical mode can actually uh, give you even more lag for, for the grunt. So what I, I guess my conclusion is, I like the ultimate mode as well, but I keep it at around ultimate five when I go off-roading. Um, so when I really need that grunt for a steep hill, I'll press the button and it becomes ultimate mode and it will just uh, it will just roll onto the top of the hill. Oh, there you have it. That's Peaceful Bay, Peaceful Bay area. So it was quite an explore today. Uh, we uh, we did all the tracks. That is within the uh, Walpole Peaceful Bay area. And um, yes, they're all interconnected, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, we're trying to get to the boat harbor, but then uh, there is a. I guess there's an old track there, but it's not really connected. So our trip ends here, Peaceful Bay. What do you think about this trip, my dear? It's good. It's good? Yes. Is that all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've tested the iDrive and I, um, uh, I know, now I know more about the iDrive throttle controller. Uh, I actually really love it because it makes some impossible possible. Now anyway, if you like the contents that we create, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us in Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned, Stay tuned. let's get out there and have some fun. <laughs>